Welcome to the overview of the 10 building blocks of Chinuch. These building blocks, essentially, I call them 10 building blocks of Chinuch, they essentially cover all the areas that we need as Mechanchim, teachers, educators, uh, to cover for our children. It's not the actual curriculum per se, it's more like a framework. Number nine of the 10 building blocks, almost there, is Midas. Whoa, that's a biggie. How do we teach Midas to our children? Well, the kids are, and I really do mean that, um, the abridged version of this is, you cannot teach Midas to kids. <laughs> There's no such program. Please forgive me for speaking so strongly. Almost any attempt to teach Midas to kids is really my Sahara deflecting me from the only way to teach Midas to children. And that is role modeling. There's no other way. There's no other way. And that's been the success of our Masora. For thousands of years, in the worst circumstances of persecution and expulsion, in the worst imaginable exiles, we have successfully, overall, successfully transmitted the beauty of Yiddishkeit, the love for Hashem, the love for His mitzvahs, to such a deep degree that we prefer living this way with Hashem's Torah than not. Yeah, we prefer to die than not live this way. And we've demonstrated that in the millions. Tens of millions of Jews have preferred to die than not live a Torah lifestyle of Torah values. Whoa, you can only do that if you've got a very deep love for the value system that you refuse to, to let go of. Oh, so teaching Midas is all about role modeling. Teaching Midas is not about how to get you to be a better person. It's all on how do I role model Simcha so you know what Simcha is. How do I role model controlling anger? Instead of telling you to control your anger, let you see what it means to be provoked to anger and still be cool, still not let go. Still not blame, still not complain, still not deny, still not give excuses and comparisons. Instead, it's all about how do I control myself in the classroom in front of the children when I'm provoked to anger because that's the role modeling that will stick in their minds. How will I be Basimcha when we're living in a world that could be extremely challenging, when the nations of the world, not almost one, is friendly towards us and we're being attacked by a Palestinian population called Hamas. And the whole world is against us because we're defending ourselves. So we need to understand that if I'm going to teach the children Simcha, I've got to be able to do that when even things are not going well, even when there's terrible things taking place locally or globally, how strong will I be amidst all that as a role model for my kids, biological children or my students? So the bottom line over here, number nine, is we're going to talk about how do I take control of myself in the classroom where it's almost a crash course in meters. Not for the kids, for me. Yeah. You choose to be a teacher in a classroom? Oh, <laughs> this is a crash course in meters. And for some of us, it's more of a crash than a course. Yeah, it's really hard. Because you've got 20 plus kids pressing your buttons, provoking you, getting under your skin. And you've, ha <laughs> you've had a long year and it's, it's really hard. Oh, and you're still meant to be smiling? You're still meant to be composed? Serene? Be Yishuv Das? Be Shalom? Be Simcha? Oh, really? Yes. That is the calling of a teacher. That is our mission. That we are role modeling who we want them to become. Because Kohlsman, all the time that I'm trying to lecture to you, uh, or we can, you know, we can have projects on Simcha, on Kaas, on Kinna, on bullying. I'm not taking away from that. But ultimately, there's only one real memory 
the children walk away with for the rest of their lives. And that is, how did my teacher appreciate me, even when I wasn't an easy kid? How did, my, how did I see my teacher deal with that kid who's really not easy, and I went away with more respect for my teacher or less because of the way they handled it? You see, it's all in the role modeling. That's where Midas is really taking place.